The first signs of the madness to come appear before Thanksgiving. The newspapers are full of ads about clearances, sales, after Thanksgiving closeouts, and good deals on just about everything. Then Thanksgiving goes by, and today it begins. This is where it all happens at the shopping center. This is where the old traditional symbols of Christmas are mixed with modern mass merchandising to produce the Christmas sale. Merchants break out their wreaths, lights, and tinsel, all part of coaxing your credit card, your checkbook, and your cash out of your pocket. The mood is happy. The watchword is sell. To cook this egg in another pan and oil, it'd be laden down with grease, burned around the edges. Your white would be gray, and your sheer couldn't slide around the pan like this. The chrome and leather versus really? the vinyl. Yeah. Right. Otherwise, the insides are identical. Come on, Daddy. It's not even December yet, and already you're hearing that familiar music and seeing some familiar sights. One lady shopkeeper has even found a hundred year old sleigh. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect for the Christmas season, and it displays well. It shows, uh, you know, everything, and we've used it in the back of the store too at different times for sale items or something like that. Do the bells really work? Yeah, oh, sure they do. Maybe you hadn't heard, Santa has a new elf this year. Yeah, and he is the hardest worker that I've ever seen. His name is Simon. Yes, it's almost Christmas again. Only 22 shopping days left, you know. Bruce Halford, Channel 8 News. Okay, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Do you want to film a whiskey?